Hi guys my name is Charles, and in this video I'm going to show you the best cheap projectors. A cheap projector can be a great way to spice up a living room or bedroom without breaking the bank. An affordable projector can also be a clever way to create a big screen home cinema experience in a small space that doesn't have room for a large 4K TV. They can often be a lot cheaper than buying a new TV too. Picking a projector is tough, as so much depends on the room you're putting it in and how you use it, whether you decide you want to set it up as a home theater for the family or for outdoor camping trips and business presentations. So, below are the links to the projectors I'll be demonstrating in the video, so without further ado let's get started. The Vancuo Leisure 3 is a solid choice for an affordable projector with all of the usual features. It comes with its own carry case and HDMI ports, AV, and VGA ports, cables, which means that you won't need to make any additional connector purchases. It also features South Dakota and USB ports to view media from a Carter stick and is very easy to set up, whether connecting a laptop, smart device, or video game console. Using the built-in operating system to navigate the settings and options with the included remote is pretty intuitive. However, the stand is quite small, which means you may need to prop it up on a table or desk with something to get the angle you want. The 2001 contrast ratio provides solid picture quality, but the brightness level is surprisingly dimmer than what one would expect from a projector boasting 2,400 lumens. The built-in speaker is unlikely to impress those used to high-quality speaker systems or even a good built-in laptop speaker. Fortunately, the Vancuo Leisure 3 has a 3.5mm cable port which allows for a connection to an external speaker. You can also bypass the built-in speaker by exporting your audio directly from the source device, such as your computer or streaming stick. The Epson EX3280 is a bit more expensive than some other budget projectors, but it's a good option if you're looking for a portable projector for business meetings and gatherings. The 768PXG air resolution and 15,001 contrast ratio mean that documents with a lot of text and fine details will clearly display when projected. The support for HDMI, USB, and VGA inputs should suit most modern business needs. While the lack of an South Dakota card slot is inconvenient, you can always transfer the data to a USB stick or a device connected via cable. 3,600 lumens, a good number for such a relatively cheap projector, also provide a clear picture and doesn't restrict your presentations to a completely dark room like other projectors in this price range. The built-in sensor that automatically corrects the image to ensure it's not distorted is also impressive. The Bank HT2150 ST is admittedly on the higher end of the cheap projector category, but it's still worth considering, especially if you want a good projector for playing video games. This model boasts incredibly low latency with just a 16 milliseconds input lag, which means very little delay from when you press a video game controller button to when the action happens on screen. This budget projector also boasts a 1-1.69 foot throw ratio that gives you an extra 2 feet of image for every foot away from the wall or screen that the projector sits. This ratio is good as it will allow you to make a sizable projection when used in a small place, such as a child's bedroom or tent. The 2200 ANSI lumens allow the Bank HT2150 ST to put on a generally solid show in dimly lit rooms, while the support for 1080p resolution and 15001 contrast ratio produces a projection with solid colors and fine details. Where this projector really impresses is with its range of ports. With two HDMI ports, a USB-A port, a USB Mini-B port, 3.5mm input and output audio jacks, an RS-232 control port, and a PC VGA port, very few devices won't be able to connect to the Bank HT2150 Street. The top Bizen T21 is an affordable projector designed for working with smartphones, tablets, and laptops. It can connect to devices via HDMI, USB, GA, and AV, and mirror their displays on a wall or screen in 1080p resolution. The 3600 lumens and 2001 contrast ratio create a rather good quality projection that's sharp and bright. The built-in speakers offer basic surround sound that won't compete with a proper speaker system, but are more than enough for casual movie viewings. That's not bad for such a budget-friendly projector. The disappointing 480p resolution on Kodak's Luma 150 projector rules it out as a primary home cinema projector, but its small size and stylish build make it an ideal solution as a projector for traveling, attending gatherings, or the occasional presentation with a client on location. 
In addition to the usual HDMI and USB connections, the Luma 150 also supports wireless casting from Apple, Android, and Windows devices. The 60 ANSI lumen hardware and low 1001 contrast ratio do limit projections to smaller and darker spaces, but its convenient size and support for tripods also add extra functionality that many may find are worth the trade-off. If you're after an inexpensive portable projector, the Luma 150 is worth a look. I appreciate you all guys watching this video, and I hope you've already made a decision about your projector. Please leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll be happy to assist you.